time. Time is money. Well, time is after effects. In this video, we're gonna talk about a handful of really cool time effects that you can use to help enhance and produce really creative work right here for After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. That link is below because we are going to be posting, you know, one minute or shorter tutorials on our Instagram page. So be sure to follow that. So in this video, I'm going to show you a variety of different effects underneath the time category. And each of these effects can be used uniquely or all together to help you produce some really cool work right here. So let's jump into our tutorial and let's start creating some really cool time effects and as always you can download our project files for free if you want to follow along our first effect is going to be the most popular one which is the echo effect which is really great for you know repeating your animation so how this works is very simple first you need to have some sort of animation put in place so i have a title layer in here so i went ahead and created a quick animation you can do whatever you want i also added a loop out expression just like this so this will repeat so once you have an animation here what you do is go to effect time and you add the echo effect all right so what you want to do is just come here to the number of echoes and then go ahead and increase that. Now, this will look kind of ugly depending on what you're doing. What you need to play with is the echo operator. I like to set this to composite in front. This way, it'll composite a lot better. You know, everything will go behind whatever you're working with. And if you want to increase the number of echoes, just go ahead and do that. You can also adjust the timing you know, to kind of fit what you're doing. So a lot of cool options here. You can also lower down the decay, which will kind of fade out the backside of it. So it's really up to you how you want to use this effect, but there's a lot of different uses for it. And this is one of the iterations for using the echo effect. All right, so another use for the echo effect is to kind of repeat your titles in a creative way, but also I'm going to show another time effect here in a second. So say if you have a title and you want it to rotate around your composition, all you have to do is grab the rectangle tool and we'll just kind of draw a rough rectangle around the composition like so. Then what you want to do is close the title layer and open it back up, go to the text layer, go to the path options, set that to mask one. And what we'll do here as another quick time effect is we'll all click the stopwatch for last margin and type in time asterisk 400. And this will allow us to create an animation without any keyframes that will go on, you know, forever. All right, now for our animation here, we can repeat this by just applying the echo effect again. And we'll increase the number of echoes here, maybe to 11, and we'll offset it in time with the echo time seconds. And by finding the right time here, we can equally distribute the titles across the composition. Now these will animate around in a box. And that's pretty cool. But we can take this even further with our second real time echo effect by going to time and we grab CC Y time. And what this is going to do is allow us to create a streak here. So we can set the forward steps to zero, increase the backward steps up here by a little bit. And what we're going to do here is take our effects layer and we can go to edit duplicate and we'll delete the CCY time effect. One thing you want to do is make sure your bottom title layer is set to motion blur on. And one thing we'll do with our bottom title layer here is go hit T on keyboard for opacity and set it to 50%. And now you'll have this extra little blurred effect around your title or whatever animation you're applying the CC wide time effect to. And of course, before we move further in the tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our brand new 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics professional pack, which has over 1400 elements in it for After Effects. And we have so many elements in this, but I just want to show you how this works. So this is our titles category. And what we can do is preview any of our templates before we want to apply. It. And when we find the right template, we just click on apply. So now we have a full title animation here that we can go into this template and easily change out our titles. And our titles and graphics are completely auto resizing. And we have control layers that allow us to easily change colors to whatever color as we see fit. And we have a handful of other amazing elements in here that we can bring into this. So for example, we have high tech elements that I love using. And we can use this as like an animated background. So we'll find the background we want, click on apply. Now we have a really cool background in here and we can take this even further with some quick accent motion graphics to help spruce up our work. All right, with a few clicks of a button, we can put together a full composition with our motion graphics professionals pack. And we have hundreds of other elements that we didn't even go through like animated promos, transitions, and creative effects that all can be applied into any After Effects project. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time, produce awesome work, you have access to all the After Effects templates you need for any project you're working on, be sure to check our links below. It'll take you right over to our website. If you do pick up anything off our site, you will be supporting our YouTube channel. So thank you very much. To understand our third time effect, you have to know what's going on here. So you'll see that everything in this animation is smooth. So what I mean by that, take a look at the background. So by taking a look at just the background here, you'll see that this is very smooth. But what happened, I want to create somewhat of a stop motion effect to this. Well, the time effects allows us to do that. So I can grab our video background here and go to effect time and grab posterize time. And I can set the frame rate to eight. 
and then I can say copy this effect to another layer here and what's going to happen with this is that now the background animation is going to be jumpy. Now you'll notice that our foreground graphics here are all smooth but the background and even the particles here are 100% jumpy and that's because of the posterized time effect. So the posterized time allows you to kind of create a somewhat of a stop motion effect. You can apply it to everything or you can just do it to a few different layers. I think you know you create the most contrast when you apply it to say the background and you have some foreground smooth objects but it's completely up to you. So the last effect we need to talk about in this video is the effect time and it's CC force motion blur. Now you do have built in motion blur here inside of After Effects and that will usually always be the way to go. So sometimes depending on what effects you're using or pre-made you know, video motion graphics, you might not be able to apply that motion blur. So by using CC force motion blur, it's gonna allow you to you know, create motion blur on things that cannot be used natively. So this effect works really well. So if you even want more motion blur, you can increase the shutter angle and that will make everything a little bit more intense. Um, so completely up to you, but you need to know about that effect. And I don't suggest using it often because it does add a lot of render time. But keep this effect in mind whenever you need to use motion blur, but the native motion blur in After Effects doesn't do the job. So that is our tutorial on these time effects right here for After Effects. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.